We're told the bear was walking up and down this street in Wakaiva Springs, and one person who lives here thought the bear was charging at him, so he shot it to death. We've been talking about doing that. John Ray tells me he likes seeing the bears on Thistlewood Circle in the Sweetwater Oaks neighborhood. We love seeing them around the neighborhood. We try to be careful, try to keep our doors closed, keep our fridges closed, try not to feed them. He shared these pictures he's taken of them in driveways, walking through the grass, even strolling along the sidewalk. But the Fish and Wildlife Commission says last night officers were called here for a report of a bear attack. They say once on Thistlewood Circle, they learned that the bear was in someone's garage and the person in that house said the beast charged at him, so he shot it. I'm told the bear ran across the street and through yards before collapsing on another property and dying. I think it's sad, honestly. Um, a lot of us live here because we like the wildlife, so to hear that one of the bears met its ending is, is, is kind of sad. Fish and Wildlife's website says shooting a black bear is generally illegal in Florida, except when it's necessary to avoid imminent death or serious bodily injury. If the person did not intentionally or recklessly put himself in that situation and there was no other adequate means to avoid the threat. No word yet from authorities about whether that was the case for the bear in this neighborhood. Fish and Wildlife Commission says this bear shooting is still an active investigation. Reporting in Wakiva Springs, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.